And this is question number 16 for the integrated math 2 practice test for 10 ready or for uh, TCAP. We're in subpart 2, so we can use a calculator here. That might be helpful. This question reminds me of one of the other questions. I'm trying to think of which one. 11, maybe? 12. It's similar to 12. Because once again, it's in that place where it feels like maybe it's really easy, and then you think, well, maybe it's more complicated than I think it is, depending on what you've done. The question says a healthcare company surveys customers to determine whether each customer would be willing to pay an additional $35 monthly for extra coverage. The results of the survey are shown. So you can see, in general, people who are below 55 won't want to pay that extra $35, but people who are older than 50 more likely will. Assuming they can afford to, they'll probably use it more, so it might make more sense for them. What is the probability a customer below the age of 50 would be willing to pay an extra $35 monthly? Write your answer in the space provided on your answer document. Now, the question is not so easy as to simply go and find below age 50 willing to pay and circle 38 and be done with it. That's not the correct answer. But it's also not so complicated where you have conditional, where it's asking you to figure out what the probability is that a customer is below 50 and willing to pay. It's just asking you, based on people, uh, if somebody's below the age of 50, what's the probability that they will be able to pay? So in order to do that, I need to look at the total. And unlike uh, certain some charts, you have to add 38 and 55 together and you get your total value of 90. Three. So I need to see my preferred amount would be on top, which is of course the 38. My pen's been acting weird, so I have to write really slow. Versus, the, I mean, above the total amount. So I'm finding the percentage or the probability of this. 38 out of 93 gives me 40 or 0. 4086 and then 021505 on and on. But it wants me to uh, write my answer in the space provided. It doesn't give me any sort of rule about how it's supposed to go. So I'd probably put 0.41 maybe just because the other problem asked me to round it to the nearest hundredth and that seems to make a lot of sense here. The answer key gives me anywhere between 0.4 and 0.41 but that's how they're going to get that answer. So here's your answer to this one. This is a much closer approximation. Uh, but don't overthink the question. Also, don't underthink the question. It's not as simple as just circling the answer when you're given these charts. You have to analyze whether the charts are giving you uh, values out of 100 in order to get your percentage. And also, if it is conditional, maybe they want to know uh, what the probability is that it not only is the customer below age 50, but also if they're willing to pay, and then it's a more advanced level problem. But in this case, you're good to go with just finding the uh, part over the whole of specifically for people below 50.